It's Zen Faded Week on the Game Room from the fantastic independent game maker We Have Issues Publishing. Like, subscribe, and comment all week for your chance to win the choice of a two-player starter box or the new Don't Let the Zed Bugs Bite starter box. You'll also get your choice of two Mercs models when the Kickstarter ships. The winner will be chosen from the YouTube comments on this week's videos, so get those comments in for your chance to win. It's Zinvaded Week on the Game Room. Welcome to the Game Room. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to paint uh, our starter set from the Zinvaded two-player starter box. Now in the starter box you get two snipers, two sergeants, two heavy gunners, so you can make two forces. Um, and remember, that's pretty much all you need, I mean, to ever play the game. It all fits in the one little container, and it's great in a very simple game. Um, but I've already got a, a white faction, and I have a green faction, so I'm going to paint a red faction. Uh, and then I'll paint one of a different color also because uh, I want to be able to get to a four-player game. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's take a look and see where we're at now. Okay, so I already have the sergeant and the sniper completed. And they are all base coated in the Army Painter uh, Spray Primer uh, Pure Red. So you'll also want to have the pure red uh, nearby because this one actually does a very good job of, of matching. Uh, then we're going to use black. Now, um, the black that I used is a contrast uh, black on uh, all the shoulder pads uh, and the, the joints, uh, basically the joints. Um, so the armor being red, the joints being black, the gun, uh, all their weapons are done in gunmetal. Simple, straightforward. The black is dry brushed with uniform gray, and then uh, you know some little odds and bits are either greedy gold or wet and bronze, just kind of depending. So if you look at the sergeant here, uh, that's greedy gold, just to uh, you know just to vary a little bit, just break up that color. And then the whole model is washed with melon oil. Um, you can use dark wash. I'm just out of dark wash. Um, I would use dark wash with maybe a little bit of water just to keep it from getting gloopy because the dark wash can get a little gloopy at times. Um, so make sure it's thinned down. And that, I just covered the entire model. Um, so um, with that aside, we're working on the heavy gunner. And so as you can see, he's big. Well, he or she, depending on which one you decide to use. Um, He's, this one, this is the, the male one. He's big. Um, so he's going to take a little bit longer to paint than the other ones here, but it's going to be the same. Yes, I already started doing some black because I was experimenting uh, before we started shooting. This, I used uh, some watered down dead black. The uh, army painter, my regular black has disappeared. I wanted to see if it would work better than the black Templar. And these were all done with the black Templar. Uh, the problem I have with the dead black is I can't get it down into the crevices without getting it so watery that it's basically a contrast paint. So I'm just going to use the contrast paint. Probably have to do two coats for all of the black, which is fine. Uh, I had to do two coats on, on the other models. And uh, we're going to start with that. We're going to paint all of the black areas, which are mainly going to be like these shoulders, wherever the joints are that have these, these ridged armor areas just because you, know, you can paint whatever you want. Uh, remember, it, it's they're your models. You don't have to follow what anybody says. You paint them how you want. I'm just doing this, and I'm showing you how I did it. So hopefully, it'll be super simple for you, and you'll be able to get your models painted and on the table very quickly. And if you do, you know, make a mistake or you, you bump in like you can see I kind of hit the, the red in a couple places already. That's what this is for. After the black dries, we'll go back over that with the pure red and tidy that up. Well, 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this black because um, I still got a few areas to do and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, went ahead and did all of the parts that are also going to be done with the uh, gunmetal. Did those in black too, just to give them an undercoat because when we do the gunmetal, it's really going to be a heavy dry brush, so it's not really going to paint the whole thing on. We're going to do a heavy dry brush. And I'm going to come back and touch these up because uh, they still need a, a little more black, but it's still kind of wet. So, But we're moving on. So the next step is we're going to dry brush the armor, uh, the black parts of the armor with uniform gray. Now if you don't know what a dry brush is, uh, put a little paint on your palette 
And for this, you're going to want a stiff brush, uh, either a specific dry brush, uh, which means the bristles are a little thicker or a little stiffer. Um, you don't want to use your nice brushes for this. Uh, old nasty brushes work really well. Uh, but you want to get paint loaded into your into your brush, and then you're gonna take a paper towel and you're gonna wipe almost all of it off. Okay, like that. And then you're just going to go back and forth really quickly, very lightly, over the areas that you want to be dry brushed. And what that's going to do is it just kind of hits the high points, just gives it a little, a little highlighting. Uh, if it gets a little too much, don't worry about it because the uh, the numb oil that we're going to put on here in a little bit will tone all of this dry brushing down. You'll want to do this before you do your red touch up because you're going to see places like this where you get the gray on it uh, that you don't want on your, on your red. So we'll come back and touch up our red more towards the end. That's all going to be done with. Okay, so now we're going to do the gunmetal for the uh, weapons and the power fist, and this is going to be more of a wet, dry brush kind of thing. Um, so to do that, um, we're going to do the same thing as a dry brush, except we're not going to wipe off nearly as much, because you want this to be silver, you just don't want it to go all the way down into all of the, all of the, the lower areas. You want those to say dark, and the black is going to fill those in for us. Now, any of these lower places you still see a little bit of red, don't worry about it. The gnome oil will fill those in and really make this look good. Okay, with the gunmetal done, next step is going to be to use just a touch of your gray sear um, or a lighter paint of your choice just to kind of touch up his face. 
so that whatever color you do decide, since I'm going to use a contrast paint, I need to show up and it won't show up. Yeah, we'll just put that in there. I'm just going to make sure that dries before we get it. Okay, here's where we're at. So we just tab so we can see it a little better. Um, right, there's a few places with the, we need to touch up the red, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. So you really want to touch up your red until after you've done your dry brush and you've got your other colors. Pretty much where you want them. Then you can come back and touch, your, touch up your red. Just be careful because you don't want to get the red on the stuff you've already done. Okay, with the red touched up, and I think I got all the places. He's got a couple of grenades on him. He's got one here, and he's got one in his hand. Um, I think that's the only two. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit those with the brace here. So that way we can use a contrast paint on those. Very carefully. Oops. Here we got next to the red. Let me touch my bread again. All right, I think for the grenades, we're going to use orc flesh, which is a darker green than the orc lightning. Let me see how that looks.
Right. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of greedy gold on some different spots like on the weapon here and on his wrist. This wrist where we are. Just to kind of break up all of this All right, with all of our colors done except for his face, we're going to go ahead and do our non oil wash over the entire model.
Okay, so now once your models are really dry, all you do is take the wall and go there. You feel like it may have gotten too dark, you want to light it up by turning it off. And with that completely dry, the only thing we have left to do is the skin, which is really just his face. And for that, I'm going to do him as a brown bug. So we'll do dark both flesh. And always make sure you shake your contrast paints up really good. Okay, very carefully. You can paint your bugs any color you want. What color? Bugs, remember, they're from another planet, so they don't have to. They can be blue. They can be turquoise. They can be whatever color you want. I mean, think about it. If you look at insects, you look at bugs. Um, you know, they're all sorts of different colors, so use whatever color you want. There's not a whole lot of skin showing on the heavy gunner, so just one with brown. All right, and there he is, finished and on his base. So in all fairness, I did, since the, uh, uh, there's a piece on his, on his base to hold a peg, just like this, but I had to cut the peg off, so I used a little bit of green stuff to stick him down. But now he's pretty much rock solid on here, and he's good to go, ready to play. So when you put him with the rest of the team, you have a really cool looking starter set. Go. All right. So there you go, guys. Hopefully this will. Uh, hopefully this shows that you know it doesn't take a ton. There's only a few colors here, um, and even some of that was just to kind of mix it up. So uh, we are sitting at about I want to say it was about 55 minutes minus the intro, so about 50 -ish minutes, 52 minutes. So just call it 55 minutes. To paint this guy up now he was a little more intricate did a little bit more with him i want to say the other two came in right at about 35 40 minutes a piece um and i think that was just the colors that i chose and, and getting the black um to cover the red that took a little while um but uh, other than that you can see that you know it doesn't take a long time so you know a couple hours and you can have one done uh you know a couple more hours you can have the other start starter set done you want to 
a friend or a mate get together and do it to, you know, at, you know, paint them together, you get, you know, the whole starter set done in a couple hours, you're ready to play. Um, and that's the cool thing about this is that's it. You don't need anything else. Uh, you don't even need terrain. Pick a table, you know, take it to a restaurant. That's, you know, go anywhere. And the table is your terrain because this is one to one scale. These guys are really this big. We're really this big, you know. So that's the whole, that's the, that's the, the beauty of the game. And it, it's just, it's a ton of fun. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helps, uh, helps you get yours invaded, uh, painted up, and uh, ready for the table. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye now.